Ron Thavener was 73 when he was essentially left for dead. For months, he was abused and neglected and couldn't do anything about it. An old friend stepped up and helped as much as she could, and now she's hoping to give the Vietnam veteran a funeral he deserves. Local 12's Brad Underwood has the story. Hi, how are you doing? Cindy Alexander is working hard to make sure her friend, a Vietnam veteran, gets a proper burial service. This is an old photo of Ron Thivener from the 80s with his son Ryan. It was a much happier time for the family. In the last few months, um, he was taken advantage of by some people. And they took all of his social security money and his pain medicine. Alexander says Thivener was living in this home in Covington with his wife and son who has developmental issues. His wife was arrested. She's still in jail. And after Thivener was injured and taken to the hospital, his son was removed from the home. That's when Alexander says drug addicts took over the home and abused Thivener. They came in and moved all their families in, their friends and everything, and pretty much took over. And he was just bedridden, so he couldn't do anything about it. Eventually, Thivener was evicted because his rent wasn't getting paid. That's when Alexander stepped in and brought Thivener to her home, where he stayed in the basement and was cared for by hospice nurses. Alexander was even able to salvage some of his belongings that hadn't been sold. At the very least, she made him comfortable. And I put up a little Christmas tree for him and put pictures of his son all around. So, so he was pretty happy when he went. And he even had some caroling second graders to cheer him up. Thivener lived for three weeks at the home before passing away on Christmas Eve. Now Alexander is hoping to honor her friend's wishes and get him a plot at the VA cemetery in Williamstown. Because he was a veteran and uh, he fought two tours in Vietnam. He had a purple heart. And um, he's a very nice guy. Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. And there's a fundraising effort to pay for Thivner's burial services, which cost about $3,000. We've linked the details if you'd like to help at local12.com. Still to come, Adam.